Okay, we're ready to start the process. So, today, it's Saturday and it's half past two in the afternoon and I've come up this afternoon because I was so bored at home. I'm supposed to have a rest at the weekend, but um, Matt's not very well again. He's got that cold that we all had the other week. He's got another one. So he's at home on the sofa and I'm going to go back to him in a bit but I just thought I can't sit here all day, I need to go and do something. So I thought if I make three batches of soap this afternoon that's something done. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing and I'll go back in a bit and make sure he's okay. <laughs> so, I can't believe you got another one, it's got obviously a different strain because you wouldn't get the same cold twice, would you? Doctors, nurses, tell me, I don't think you would, but um, yeah, he's copped it again so that's very unlucky. Okay, I'm going to stick blend. And I'm working with about a 70%, no, I'm not. I'm working with about a 30 to 35% water discount to death. Not 50. And I just upped it a bit because I want to fill the mould a little bit more. Sometimes when you take too much water away, you know, obviously your soap is lower. <laughs> so I want this one to be slightly higher. Okay, that's emulsified but not up to trace just yet. So I'm just going to pour some off of my green portion, about half a jug, and I've got a teaspoon of mica in there. And I'm using a pistachio green, I think it is. So I'm just going to I'll stick blend it. Let's live life on the edge. Actually, I remember last time, because I did the green first, I did this before, so I have like a slight green tinge to my base. So I'll put a bit more of that in there. So it's like almost like a minty green, and then my today and you just pour a bit of this white in. It's just titanium dioxide mixed with water as usual. So let's get my fragrance. A little bit in the air. Oh it's lovely, it smells so lovely. I could make this every day. It's that good. It's like me and Chinese food. I could eat Chinese food every day. So nice. That's for each trace. A little bit more in there. Mix that very much here. A little bit more of that in there. Clear that off a bit. Then we can pour. And I need a chopstick. Make sure you can see okay. I'm going to bring you closer. There we go. It's a little bit dark again in here, I'm afraid, because. Because it is a typical British winter afternoon. It's not raining today, the sun's been out a bit, but this is what it's like. So, I'm going to do a pour. Like that. Chopstick on its side, like that. So easy. So easy. And then, just on the top, I want this to sit on there. I'm 
can say what I mean about these fragrance oils, they don't accelerate. They're like the perfect consistency. Well, this soap is the perfect consistency for getting your design in there quickly and the top. So it just sits nice and if I was to shake this it would settle back down into the soap but it's like this is just perfect to me. Perfect performance in a fragrance oil. I've tried quite a lot. The other company that I love for their fragrance oil is not misbehaving too much is um, Scent Perfect, who I've mentioned before. They're really good. There'll be a link for them below as well. So they're just really good. Good companies. Okay, now I want the rest of my white over the top. So my website's closed at the moment for a little while. By the time this video goes up it might be back open again but I've had to keep it closed while I'm doing the winter pre-buy stock because I had a lot of orders in and um, I needed to shut because otherwise the orders keep continuously coming in and I can't cope at the moment. It's like I need to get an employee for around Christmas time again. It always creeps up on me. It's like I can deal with the, the year and what it throws at me, but it comes to Christmas uh, and it's stressful because a lot is going on and, you know, it's busy, which is good. But next year, I think I might have to arrange myself a little better and get some help for the couple of months that, for the run up to Christmas. So we can produce more and sell more, you know, silly to be shutting the website down, but it's just what I've had to do for the moment to cope, otherwise everybody would be waiting way too long for orders. So I've not started shipping yet and we did the release on the 17th of November, shut it on the 21st and I've been making all the products up till now, so I need to um, start shipping this week, which I will do, because I've only got a couple more things to make. I've got to do like hair rinses and bath salts, and that's it, I'll be ready to ship. Okay, I'm gonna just wait for that to set up a bit, and then I'll come back and do the top. Okay, we're about ready to finish the top, so I just need to wipe my spoon. And, Push that over, that's it. So that green comes through. That's what I like. So nice. It's a little bit still on the runny side, but it's not bad. Probably go over a little bit more there. That's better. Just get a bit more texture in there. That's it. That'll do. So there is lime cooler. Get over there. A bit more uniform. Okay, that's lime cooler done, and I will be back to show you the cut for that one. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Monday. We'll see. Okay, see you later. Okie dokie. Ready to cut lime cooler. So just been cleaning the house at home and then I came in here and some cocoa betaine had fallen all over the floor. So I've just spent, I don't know, half an hour cleaning the floor. Luckily it's a surfactant so I just use that as my floor cleaner. <laughs> Let me just hoist myself up. How annoying! Just got through the bloody door and that's what I was faced with. Anyway, I'm on my way to Tesco's in a minute. I've got to go and do some shopping. So let's just get these cut and then the videos can go up this week. 
So, I've got a few to cut today. I've got three batches, so I'll do them all separate because I'm doing separate videos. But this one is Lime Cooler, and I love this soap. I love it. There you go. So we've just got like a, if you can see this, it's a pretty simple swirl. But it's very, 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 very nice. I'll put some picks at the end so you can have a good old look at it and some close-ups and also my Instagram link so you can follow me there and see all the soaps I make because I don't film all of them. It's like I get comments all the time. I can't wait to see the film of this one. can't wait to see the video of this one. And I don't film everything because I just don't. I wouldn't have time to be able to film everything because I make soap a lot. <laughs> But I do try and film as many as I can, so I can keep on top of my YouTube channel, which uh, had slapped off for many years. I've been doing YouTube now for quite some time, but I gave it a big rest for, oh, I don't know, a few years probably. I don't, I just didn't have any interest in doing it, but um, it's good for business, so. I picked back up again, when was it? Maybe two years ago, something like that? I don't know. Maybe it was more, like longer. I don't know. Anyway, I don't make all the soaps on video, is what I was saying, because I just, I can't do that. Sometimes I come in in the morning and I think I'll make a batch of soap and it can literally take me 20 minutes, you know, just to get a batch made. But to set, like, to set it up and film it can take up to an hour. So with messing about and getting the lighting and all that kind of stuff sorted. So that's uh, why I don't film every single one. So I will show you Lime Cooler. Again, let's bring it around and see if you can just see it all together. So that's it there. And I will be trimming up all of those and leaving pictures at the end for you like I said and I will move on to the next one the next one I'm going to cut is magpie so that will probably be the next video so I'm doing lime cooler magpie and bulgarian lavender so those are the next three videos that will be going up so stay tuned and I will see you in a little while <laughs> 